Some community members in Henderson demanding their bus stop be reopened. Many of those people are seniors or disabled or even both. And they tell us here at News 3 that getting from where the old bus stop was to mm -hmm. the new bus stop is not easy. Tiffany Lee now joins us live from Henderson with more on these people and how they're not happy that their bus stop has been moved. Good evening. Now that bus stop used to be right behind me and the city of Henderson tells me they decided to close it because of congestion and because they wanted a stop in a more centrally located area. Well, today I took the walk to the new route with some local seniors and I have to tell you it was pretty brutal. They say the decision to close this bus stop is unacceptable. They look at us being invisible individuals. Lapierre Streeter is furious. It's all about age. It's age discrimination, and that hurt. We met up with him and several seniors at their former bus stop near Water and Army Streets in downtown Henderson that was closed down a few weeks ago. This is Pacific Pine Senior Retirement. Uh, all these people that live here are handicapped in scooters or they don't have vehicles to drive. What was a three to five minute walk from their apartment complex and the senior center next door is now a half an hour journey for the group that doesn't have any other means to get around. It wasn't a question of just being convenient. It's a question of being of health too. You know, I've had COVID before, so I've got the long COVID. It's like trouble breathing sometimes. Got some people in wheelchairs and walkers and um, it's difficult. In an email, officials with the city of Henderson told me the stops were relocated at the city's request and quote, the new location is more centrally located to the heart of downtown Henderson with accessibility to City Hall and the Justice Facility. The city says the move will help the traffic congestion and offer additional parking for local businesses. These seniors say they're not buying it. I don't think I've ever seen anybody get on the bus stop down there or here. They do now because they're forced to. I decided to find out for myself, so I took the new route with Streeter and his neighbor, Richard Dover. Just looking at Google Maps, the distance from the old bus stop shows 11 minutes without including the time it takes to walk from the apartments. And that doesn't include the challenges these seniors face with health issues and age. I'm getting a little heavy in the breathing. Uh, my respiration rate's probably up. At one point, we had to stop to change over to Dover's oxygen tank. I can't run out of oxygen. Uh, my lungs were damaged heavily from COVID and I have to be really careful. I have COPD and diabetes, so I'm monitored all the time. And the heat wasn't helping either. During the walk, my phone showed the temperature in the 90s, and it will only get hotter in a few weeks. After 30 minutes, we finally made it to their northbound bus stop towards Las Vegas. As we took a moment to catch our breaths, Dover and Streeter told me about what steps they've taken to get their bus stop back. They say they'll be following the upcoming election for their ward closely. And we may have to vote out a couple of people from office, but we will get it done. It's that important to us. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that 30 minute route was just one way. They actually had to take the same route back home. Now, I did speak with Streeter, who tells me that he did uh, file Americans with Disabilities Act complaints with both the city of Henderson and the RTC, and he plans to actually file with their national chapter next week. And I was told if they don't see action soon, they would be willing to uh, file a lawsuit to get this bus stop open. They say their fight won't be over until it is opened again. Reporting live from Henderson, I'm Tiffany Lane for News 3. Back to you. All right, you can certainly understand when you especially see the guy on the cane, how yeah. that might be troublesome for him. And of course, we'll continue to follow this. Tiffany, thank you so much.